single-handedly broke up my marriage. You're an awful person. You're 24 years old. Why would I listen to you? Why would you be giving therapy and advice to people who clearly need it? It doesn't make any sense, Ari. This is a horrible idea. You're listening to you listening to unlicensed 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 therapy with Ari Mendes. Ari Mendes. I don't know how long ago I saw that, and I had a like serious like query within myself, going like, "What's is going this on? Is this a bit? <laughs> Has he always been gay? <laughs> and I don't know." And I was like, "Eh, who cares?" This is what I wanted. I um, I'm gay, it, but not in real life. In real life, I'm I've never been gay. Never been even a little bit gay. No, but I identify as gay on the internet. So how's that? I mean, that's great. Yeah. The so. internet is all that matters now. That's what I'm saying. So on Facebook, I'm gay. Instagram, I'm sometimes gay. How many people do you think on Facebook don't know you're not gay? <laughs> a third of them. Yeah. I'd say. I so one time I was. Do you know who Malik B is? Not community. very well, but yes. Okay, so I was on a podcast with him, mm-hmm. and I start talking about this girl that I made out with or something. I was talking about a girl. And he goes, what are you, you're gay. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm like, and just what? like, oh, like for funsies, you're like, let's make out, girlfriend. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and I'm like, I'm not gay. And he's like, Did no, you no, feel no, I see online you're gay. And I'm like, oh, we're Facebook friends, so there you, you go. You ever get uh, male comics like sliding in the DMs like, hey, thinking you're like into stuff? I've never gotten hit on by a male comic that I know of. I did get a male comic who was offended that I'm gay on Facebook. Oh, because you're not really gay or because he's just offended by the existence of gays? He said, I'm not really gay. And uh, the joke is that being gay is funny, which isn't funny. That's homophobic and offensive. Why is that homophobic and I don't know. And I said, who are you to say what the joke is? And also, who are you to say that I'm not gay? You don't know me. Yeah, Uh, that's rude. Who are you to say that? I pretend so, I'm hot on Instagram all the time. I think <laughs> you don't like think you're thing. hot in real life? No. But you get so many guys. What? I know, personally, I know three guys, personally, that have been with you. That's it? That oh, I know. That that is is just the one, and all those right. are just the ones I know about. Oh, four. Whew. Four, 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 four. Oh, I take man. it back. Uh, yeah, no, I, I get guys, but it's not like, I mean. Four I, guys I, that I know. Personally, okay, they know my name and I know their name. You don't need and we'd to say, hey, say how are you? who any of these guys are, but you do you think of any of those okay. guys and go, they can really pull hot chicks? Yeah, you waited wait, too wait, long. Wait, wait, I'm no, thinking, no, no, I'm, th- I'm genuinely thinking, no, no. None of those guys are bad guys. They're all guys That's that not what I, I asked. They're, they're yeah, all guys. I don't, I don't hook up with bad guys. They're I all, mostly hook up with very nice guys. They're all nice guys, but also, I mean, I'm just thinking as far as post department and looks department. There are none of those guys are, are like, ew, those guys are gross. They they're all decent slops. guys. I mean, yeah. yeah. They're all decent looking guys. One of them, I would say, is was even a catch. Was? Who got yeah. fat? Who lost their hair? Wait, who? Wait, why are they no longer a catch? Also, well, are you gay? How one you... of them, I don't know if it's straight anymore. Oh. Uh, oh. You and know the, which and one. And the hair. Yeah. It's a... So I feel like some, something's <laughs> up there. still be a catch. Yeah, still with... a catch to someone. But yeah. la- I feel like, to me, when I first knew him, I was like, oh, it's a good-looking, handsome, young, talented, funny guy. And now male. I'm like, well, something's, I don't know. I don't like, know. Yeah, you're like, all right. Cool. Yeah. But I don't know. No, yeah. I mean, I don't yeah. know either. Yeah, I don't And know. frankly, I support it either way. I don't. Yeah, I can Be see a that. straight male, be a cisgendered male, or get out. You heard that. Well, d- Or get the fuck out. Well, that's why I'm here. Unless on Facebook, you could be whatever you want. As a cis, that's what Facebook's for, is for you to be whatever you want. <laughs> Get Facebook that shit is- out on Facebook. God doesn't find you over there. God doesn't God find is not you on, on Facebook. Yeah. God's not on the internet. In real life, you got to just real be life, what you you're gotta, born as. Yeah, you have to just be a man or a woman, mm-hmm. whatever you were born in, and <laughs> don't fuck. Yeah, the Are bi- you I just live by the Bible. I would say I'm bisexual, yes. Oh, fuck yeah. Yeah, isn't, I'm a, isn't every rock star? What's up? Uh, no, How I, many uh, girls have you um, yeah, tasted? Tasted? Tasted. Is that a, a gentlemanly way to put it? I'm trying Probably. to keep the podcast on the cleaner side. How one. Many, you've tasted one? Which is really... And abs- how many have tasted you? I... <laughs> d- d- I raised my eyebrows when I said it, but Maybe you can't see behind me. Maybe none. Yeah, cool what's shades. with the sunglasses? I have a what little bit of a migraine. From? I have a little bit of a migraine. Oh, do you want... Oh, I don't have no, thanks. Migraine I don't do, I don't do it with the pills. Have you tried caffeine for migraines? I have, but not today. I, I'm just powering through it. I used to live in southern Mississippi, and I started getting severe migraines as a child, and a doctor 
was like, my mom took me to the hospital because I, or a doctor or whatever, and she's like, the doctor said, well, you can get this very expensive prescription migraine medicine, or when she gets a headache, give her an Excedrin and a Mountain Dew. A doctor was like, she needs Mountain Dew. That's pretty cool. <laughs> and that's and probably why Did I you ever fake a headache to get a Mountain Dew from Mama? No, thank God. My life was such a headache, I never had to fake it. Did you but... call your mom Mama? No, I what called her mean, mommy. Hell, I just tried to not. When you were mom? when you were a child, when you were mom. four years oh, old, mom for sure. You never said mommy when you were four. No. Mommy, my I mom called my mom so mommy till I was like eleven. Oh uh, yeah, of course you did. Look at you, you're a male comedian. <laughs> <laughs> All of you have mommy issues. I do have mommy issues, but based on that story, you'd think that I loved my mom and was dependent on her. It was the opposite. It was the wait, but even then, even then, what were you not dependent on your mom? As no, I hated my mom. Uh, but still called her mom. But you still wanted her to love you. I mean, I want everyone to love me. Or were you always a psychopath me, but... and you were like, mommy, and you're just like trying to manipulate her. <laughs> mommy, can I have a candy? And you're I just like a serial killer. Thought. I wasn't smart enough to put that much thought into it. I should have I could done see that. you being like yeah. a serial killer kid. Uh, I mean, most people would say I'm a serial killer adult. For sure. I yeah. mean, how many people have you killed? If it's over three, you don't have to answer that. I'd like to think that if I were have to have killed anyone, mm-hmm. let's say 30, 300, let's just say, that they all definitely deserved it. I'm sure. A lot of yeah. people deserve you think to I would die. Kill, you think I would just kill someone for the fun of it, for the sport? Not anymore. No, you've grown out of that. You're yeah. not a sportsman. Yeah. You There's, hunt you gotta have for meaning. reason. I don't have time for that. No, I don't have time it's... just to go killing people willy-nilly. Yeah, they gotta well, earn the cleanup. It. It's they too They gotta much. earn that kill. I mean, yeah, I, I have nothing to say to that. I don't know. <laughs> I'm just imagining 20 years from now when you've actually been in prison for being a serial killer. They're like, <laughs> he he was openly talking about it the whole time. I feel like if someone was a killer, I do too many things that... Would put you at risk of being caught. Yeah, I have a shotgun hanging over my bed. I have this mustache. I. But maybe that's the move. That you're like, you just act as cartoonishly like a serial killer <laughs> as possible so that people are like, that would be ridiculous. It'd be too hacky for but him. But everyone do- always makes a joke that I'm a killer. So if I actually was a killer, no one would be surprised, which is why I'm not a killer. Yeah, because you like the element of surprise. Yeah. Wow. Punchlines. Punchlines. That's right. Surprise punchlines. I, you do. That's the kind I have. I, you do have surprise punchlines. I'm I got always the surprised when there is a punchline. <laughs> I'm like, look at that, he got me. You do have a lot of misdirection. You have a very cool delivery style. Yeah, like I don't care, even though I care really, really bad. Yeah, yeah. Where but like, I pretend like I don't. Yeah, you seem like you would be fine if you bombed. Yes, most people say you're you're a natural. You have so much confidence. You don't care, and little do they know I care. But you're like, please get. Yeah, if this. someone gets mad or cries or I bomb, it ruins me. Oh yeah, if, if someone's made my offended, core. do you get? Do you like? Yeah. Obviously, we're supposed to be like, oh fuck you guys, PC culture. But I get so sad when someone gets offended because so I was sad. like, that wasn't the goal. Right. I'm not a edge lord trying to be like, oh yeah, Jews. And I am an edge lord, <laughs> and I still get mad when I offend someone. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, I say this horrible shit, and then when someone finds it horrible, I'm like, what do you mean? Like, we're just supposed to be having fun here. Yeah, it was yeah. a f- fun rape joke. Yeah, exactly. It's a good old-fashioned so, fun. That's my own issues that I got to work through. Well, you I never will. Do yeah, it. Comedian's a nightmare. <laughs> yeah, it really is. I might, qu- I would quit, but I can't. But you I'm can't? in too deep. You are? You feel like you yeah. can't do anything else? Wait, you wouldn't quit. I mean, I, love I, it. I could do something else, but... If I quit right now, I'd be embarrassed. You know what because I mean? Because you've made so much like progress and you've put so much time into it. <laughs> Not that I've made so much. I've made no progress. But, That's true. But just that question when someone goes, oh, are you still doing it? I find very offensive. I'm like, what do you mean? I've been doing it for 10 years. Go fuck <sighs> yourself. There are some people who like... I wish would just go, you know what, actually, not you, by the way. Thank you. That would just go, actually, I'm not going to do this anymore. I'm not going to do this to myself. People who like don't at all make any any headway and any still headway doing it. they don't start getting a few more shows or like slightly better spots or working with some cooler people it's like or at least openly go oh this is a hobby like, so I, no, mo- I just enjoy doing it most I- of them do the ones that are sting- stinking around that you're thinking of right now are mentally ill Oh. If someone sticks well, with it for that long. Well, they should stop it. Stop being mentally ill. Quit I mean, it. we're mentally ill too, but they're, oh, yeah. they're like farther than us down that rabbit yeah, hole no, of mental we, illness. Yeah, our mental illness just... We're aware of our me- mental illness. They are not. Which, it does yeah. that, it helps like this much. Being aware of it? Because you just go, well, I know, but I can't stop it. Or you could use it as an excuse. That's what but I do. But you just go, like, I can't help it. I'm mentally ill. Yeah. I'm ill. 
Yeah, like uh, that's what I, I do too. Mommy issues. Like Leave a rapper in the early two thousands. Like I'm ill, but it's just. Mentally. Oh yeah, you just put out a music CD. A music CD. I put out one song, but oh, yes, it's just one I song. Did. It's just one. I want to okay. do an EP now. It's country reason, though. It's not. Yeah, it's definitely not rap. Tell it, us about that. I um. Because I never even knew. Even knew this side of you. Yeah, you I don't think anyone an artist. Anyone but such an artist. It's a song about blowing a prison guard for cigarettes but hey we don't need to diminish your art here you're an artist you're and you right. put out a song how many other comedians have put out a song you and dane cook that's about it yeah only the great Stephen lynch but he was a music comedian but he was a music comedian yeah, and well, yeah. that's the thing too is that like there's a couple funny lines in the song but i was trying to be really clear about like no this is just a song like i'm not doing musical comedy because i'm afraid someone's gonna come to my shows expecting me to be like and now did you think about maybe making a, another identity to put it out i did yeah i went back and forth and then i kind of focus group pulled a couple close comedian friends to like see what they thought because i was like which oh. one spill it um i don't know like most of my friends from the store so like nicole mm-hmm. amy schreiber and uh, i think i probably asked God, like almost everyone who's in those like late night slots. Cool. All right. Did I DM Joe Rogan and get his input? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> did you actually? Yes. Because oh, I was cool. like, well, he'll tell me I'm stupid if I'm stupid. And he's, what did he say? He was like, do whatever. And you want. obviously, he's a god, and everyone should take everything he says as truth and fact. No. Uh, he was like, I don't think you should. You already have like a, you know, you're growing a platform under your name, and. There's no reason you can't be multifaceted. This idea that, like, you have to only be one thing as your thing. And it's like, look, a lot of people have various opinions on him. But he does, like, you know, his, like, MMA stuff. And he also does stand-up. And then he does Mm -hmm. his podcast, which I wouldn't wouldn't consider, even though it's, like, under comedy. And he does have, like, funny conversations. I wouldn't consider it a comedy podcast. Absolutely not. So I was like, you know what? Fuck it. Because it's also, if I did put it out under another name... It's going to be trying to get people to go over the name or like just trying to be like, have you guys heard of this person? And now let me ask you this. <sighs> Joe Rogan being the God of Monk's men that we are, that is yeah, in our lives. And we're all men. If here. he had said, yeah, you should make another identity. Would you have listened just even if you disagreed? Cause it's Joe Rogan. Told I you to already, do I was fully on the fence. So I may have leaned toward it. I had a Got name. It. Oh, what was the name? Whole- <laughs> Norma Lee. I went back and forth with the last name. Like five times, and then I was like, "Fuck!" I'm just putting out my last name. So, Norma Lee Wild was what the thing I was. It was gonna be like a three name anyway. That's but then cute. for a while, I I was instead of Wild gonna do the last name Better B E D D E R. Normally better. Yeah, and it's like I like a, Wild more. I think. Yeah, cause but they're all they're better kind of is punny. more unique, maybe. Yeah. There's a lot of probably artists with the name Wild in it. Probably. Well, it's singers. like there was. Did you ever uh, hear Wheeler Walker Jr.? Mm-hmm. He's yeah. Hilarious. So like that's. I don't want to like ruin anything for anyone listening, but that's a character. Yes. It's not a real guy for those of you who thought it was. But it's it was. a great it's character. It's a great character. Yeah. So I was like, I could fully lean in. Mm-hmm. But then I just was like, no, let me just fucking put it out. Because it was quarantine. I made a song. I want to do more. But it's like, am I really going to have time to, what if it doesn't go well? And I put all this effort and be like, this well, crazy that's the thing. character. You'd have more time if it went really well. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And it did go well. Yeah, you, so made a little, you make a little cheddar. I made a little cheddar. I got on to... Uh, the iTunes charts into like the top 40s Damn. which was weird because it was right when like Morgan Wallen was being accused of racism so I was sharing these screenshots he's great Morgan and being Wallen. like oh dude that was I was like let him go let I him was, out of purgatory he, already so he says the n-word for fun it's, it's who all, doesn't <laughs> me I don't but I but she says that but how that's because she's on the podcast. That's, I mean, yeah, no, I, no, no. What about when you're singing a rap music in the car with the window rolled up? No, I stop. You, so you're by yourself, it. you're singing your favorite rap song, Alone, and the N-word yeah. pops through, and you bleep yourself. Yeah. Come on. I do. do you? I don't know why. It's been like, it's, You're uh, lying. Yep. No, I've never, ever. I grew up with a lot of why'd you friends. Just, why'd you just grin at me after you said it? <laughs> there was a period when I right was now. younger where I thought not, I was like, that's stupid. It's a word. But then I have, you know, I hung out with a lot of, you know, I have, I don't know how to, there's no fun way to be like, I have a lot of black friends, but like I do. And then when I learned the historical context, I was just like, all right, if it's going to like, if me saying it hurts people. But I, that's the thing. I would never say it to hurt somebody. I would never say it. In but a if me even context. saying it, if, if me even saying it like in a rap song is going to cause. That doesn't hurt anyone. 
if, if you're by yourself, I know. But if yeah, I mean, if I'm by myself. But also, if I'm by myself, I'm listening to Morgan Wallen. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I had to hide my Spotify, like how you could see what people listen on Spotify after that happened because I didn't want to be hassled because he's an incredible songwriter. But then I was like posting screenshots like, I'm on the charts and being like, please don't let anyone fucking make this about <laughs> some stupid shit. Like, And if they do, screw them. I don't say the N-word a lot. I do say it for fun sometimes when I'm singing <laughs> or just with the right group of friends. But I never say I, it negatively. I never this say clip it. just slowed down I, <laughs> with the right group of friends. <laughs> but I would never say it with negative connotations. I don't classify myself as a racist. Not many people probably do, well, but I don't also. It's even like deep racists just go, I ain't racist. I'm just right. I'm protecting my family, you know? <laughs> so I would say I'm not a deep racist, but who knows? You know, I, I you don't get to call you. You don't get to pick that for yourself. Somebody no, else does. somebody else But does. I don't think anybody who knows me would call me a deep racist. No, pedophile? Maybe. Look at that mustache. Maybe a pedophile. Not a deep racist. <laughs> That being said, even though I barely say the word, just for fun sometimes with the right group of friends, before I go on stage, I do sometimes have to remind myself, hey, don't say the N-word. Don't say it up there. <laughs> don't, That's not like the place for so, it. Like you're so, you, are you, there's such a <laughs> threat of you saying it immediately when you go slip. on stage. Don't let that slip. Don't let it slip out. That <laughs> word's not. How often are you saying it that you're like, it could just Just before every there. set. Not that often. Oh, no. Yeah, yeah. I do, I do feel like. I mean, there's so many, like, words that are triggering shit, and all that is such a waste of fucking time and bullshit. Like, there's so many terrible things going on in the world, and then people will be like, my feelings are hurt because of what you said. And it's like, why do you focus on, like, there's actually bad people, and you're, like, a like waging a war because J.K. Rowling's like, well, maybe I don't I don't know about transgender <laughs> people. And they're like, get her! And you're like, okay, people are dying. <laughs> But it's just this. It's how many people you think actually care about J.K. Rowling's being trans? five, and they're yeah, the loudest like people on Twitter. People. Yeah, 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 and they're just all on Twitter, and it's and that's not the real world. I've been saying the R word for special people on stage a lot. <laughs> Retarded. Oh, I thought you meant radical. No, no, I've but I do say rad. I think but, it's kind of coming back. But I've been saying oh, retarded or radical. Yeah, I've been saying it on stage, and when I do, the crowd. Loves it because they're, like, they're you're tired so of the bullshit. Brave. I think they're just. I know. Tired I think it's of, gonna flip. It's gonna. They're just. Yeah. There needs to. Be, people are tired of it. It's, we're gonna it. go back to like full level, like saying something being and having it be shocking because no one says it is just gonna be the most hilarious thing because people have tried to be too sensitive about it. Yeah. And that one I do get like oh, about, and I've said it, and then I go, oh no, because I've worked with special needs people for so much of my life before comedy that I go like, I don't want to hurt anybody. <laughs> It's just me being like, oh, but, I'm going to But it's the same hurt. thing. It's like someone should only get hurt, in my opinion, but my opinion is the right opinion. Someone should only get... <laughs> if, you're, someone, if there's if, malice, if I, yeah, you're directing if, if it. Yeah, if I'm at. trying to hurt somebody with that word, then it's bad. Oh, I agree. But it's I'm like, not doing that. If you're getting hurt, yeah. like peripherally because someone says something like that's something for you to work on yeah you know like it's like that's not their problem you need to go to therapy and figure out why words that were not meant to hurt anyone do upset you so deeply absolutely you are anyway, i want to ask you about this you i would consider an open book type of person I, both on I, the internet i share in your comedy much. in life you're a big share have has that ever caused you to have regrets about that or are there any things in your life that you do hide that we're not aware of? <laughs> Sorry, I can hear squeaking yeah, I, in the I microphone. Hear, I hear, and I didn't know if one of you guys was just like low-key farting. <laughs> like, it's that chair. We need like, to buy new chairs. You're an open book. And it's like. <laughs> we do need to buy new chairs. You know, no. As I've worked on myself more, now I'm just being like more of an open book. I used to, I was like a, a long paragraph Facebooker. I would be like. Oh, here's my feelings. It's hard. Yeah, I've but seen I'm it. I'm sharing. Even on Twitter, I've seen just things where yeah, I'm like, yeah. wow, that's very brave that she said that because I wouldn't do you? That okay, let me ask you this. Personal. Do you really go, that's brave, or do you go, shut the fuck up? No, because you don't say things that are... I say shut the fuck up when people are giving like weird opinions that I don't yeah. want to hear. There's like political opinions, certain things. Where that's when I say shut the fuck up. But if they're just being like open, I go, for example, Jamar Neighbors, when he tweets... I'm looking for pussy tonight. Like, I'm like, Respect. wow, I, I think that in my head, but, but I'm not going to tweet that. I love that that's yeah. the, is that the same level of bravery as me being like, <laughs> on a know, different on a different way. I am very yeah. depressed right now. <laughs> <laughs> um, you know what? No. And maybe that's a reflection of my mental illness. But even in the moments where I have, quote, overshared, I think I usually get 
sort of motivated to share when I have a little realization that's sort of like, oh, it's okay. Or like a little piece of information sort of occurs to me that I didn't realize before. Like, oh, this feeling's going to pass. And even though me saying that is for sure not the first person in the world ever saying it, I'm like, oh, I just realized this. So like, I'm going to say it because maybe someone else will go, oh, okay. But also I don't, I, it's, it's weird because I, I'll do, I'll do it. And I'm like, I'm not that important. And then the other thing about sharing here, here is my regret and is like, I have talked openly on stage and online about my mental health, specifically depression. Which everyone's got, especially comedians. Yes. I'm not unique. I'm not a special mm-hmm. butterfly. But that's why I was like, other people deal with this. So if I make mm-hmm. jokes about it, it'll be relatable. I cannot help you with your depression. <laughs> Do not reach out to and me. And even if she could, she's not who you want to Like, help also, you. I'm not doing well for you to go. Like, when people, I love if it helps someone go like, oh, I was able to laugh at my own issues because you framed depression in a funny way. That's kind of the goal when I talk about stuff like that. But people will just go, you know, my mom just died and I, my kids got taken away. And I'm like, okay, I am already struggling to not stay depressed. I'm just going to feel worse. And also it's going to become a weird suicide pact. I'll be like, I don't know. Let's just end it together. You know? But sometimes hearing people's depression makes me feel a little happier because I'm you like, well, least... my life's not that bad. <laughs> that's... Is that evil that I think that way? I mean, that's why I still I've feel bad quarters. for them. Yeah. I mean, yeah. Yeah, I... sometimes it makes you feel good. That you go like, oh, God. <laughs> I should. It makes you go, oh, I should appreciate what I got. It shifts you into gratitude. Yeah, yeah. So you go, wow, I'm so grateful that I'm not that guy. That's why I think people who volunteer are so happy. Oh, volunteering. There's, I mean, there's science behind it. Yeah, that, it's like, like you something, release chemicals. Yeah, you go do it and you feel good for helping people, but you probably more feel good because you go, my life's not bad. You're like, I'm that not, guy's life is bad. I'm not my these life. people I just know. <laughs> yeah. Ugh. But thank God for them <laughs> so I could feel good about me. Is that evil? I think it, that's just. Uh-huh. Everyone would feel that way subconsciously a little bit. I just feel good helping people. That's so funny. It's good to remind yourself. That like you could, could be, worse. be that guy. But the other thing is as people get upset about that, they'll be like, oh, you can't compare traumas. Or people will feel bad because they're like, oh, I don't want to talk about my thing because other people have it worse. And yeah. they're not like. I have that sometimes. I, I think you absolutely I have can compare problems. traumas. It's just like that's not going to help anybody. But if you want to go, actually, I was uh, – I was molested more than you. Like, fine. But, like, did that make you feel better? I hate when I hear people have molestation contests. That's something I'm against. Uh, like, Every just person open, who's that's, been molested. That's what my family does at Thanksgiving. Yeah, it's like, if you've been molested, that's wrong. It's all bad. It's all bad. So you should, you're should. you not a hero because you've been molested countless amount of times. Dude, that was a thing when I first started comedy that it felt like so many conversations with comedians. And maybe, maybe it was more open micers because I was an open micer. So many conversations devolved into, like, who had it the worst. And it's like, who cares? <laughs> <laughs> because people equated that to how funny they were. Which is so stupid. Which is very stupid. It's so dumb. You don't have to be traumatized There's some to be... very funny, privileged people. Nick Kroll, hilarious. Comic. Yeah. Ugh. Do you ever go, like, maybe there's something. There's, there's a little bit, like, sometimes when I hear a comedian who is just crushing it in comedy finally say something that they're like some fucked up thing. I go like, oh, okay. You're not just like, you didn't just roll in here with a family that loves you. Oh, And everything's for sure. perfect. Like oh, you had, yeah. You had a thing? Okay. I feel. There's darkness in everybody, like you said. It gives me hope. doesn't matter. Everyone's problems are different. <laughs> yeah, and it's all relative. It's just like, pff, I don't know. Shut the fuck up, you know. Shut it. Well, shut that's the, the other thing, up. too. I, I guess that's what I worry about with sharing is that, like, I like to share, but I never want my identity to be the depressed person, the person who's... Uh, no, it's not. I never want it to be like, we get it. You're in pain. You're a victim. Because I think some people really identify with... No, I don't think that. that's your identity. Maybe your identity is uh, being like having... Mm, what's the word? Like being a fucked up human, <laughs> but not pain specifically or depression specifically. Maybe like... I'm uh, fucked up. On stage. Like I'd say most of your stories are about... Right? Like most of your jokes I, I are about like this is, personal like, fucked up shit oh, in your I guess life. So. But they're fun. I, and, uh, I guess that is my identity on stage. <laughs> but not about <laughs> specifically so depressed. Up. No, but you know what I mean? Where like some people really like lean into being a victim. Being sad. Where it like, 
And I think I think the internet exacerbates that because if you start getting, you know, like likes, you get the little totally. dopamine of, oh, more people like my things when I go. You know what I noticed about Facebook? That's woke culture, too. Yeah, well, because yeah. I used to do these, like, long posts that were very sincere, but I'd just be like, oh, I'm going through it. I don't know who to reach out to. And Yeah, they made you feel good. Oh, look, 200 people like this. Yeah, that I'm like, I'm not alone. But yeah. now I realize if I want my Facebook post to show up in the algorithm more, I just go... I just don't know how much longer I can keep doing this. Anyways, you can see me in Buffalo <laughs> tomorrow. <laughs> like, literally, if you just put phrases in that are like, I'm not doing well. Facebook's like, we got to get this into the algorithm. People wow. People love this. That <laughs> is marketing genius. You think you didn't learn anything today? What'd you learn? Get suicidal right before you promote so something. I promote know. Something. Just that's the move. G- hit your lowest point right before you're about to do something big. That's really healthy and good. I think that's smart. That's yeah, I, smart. I think it's We got a do. couple calls that I want to take. Oh, my God. Okay. And just so you know, and this is not to hurt your feelings. Oh, no. These calls aren't for you specifically. That's fine. They're I know one me. calls me. They're for me. Could people not call you? Not for you, you. Are you but they're it, for us today. Is it the police? I hope so. I actually have not screened these. So we might, this might get cut out. We'll see. Oh, wait. Shit. Sorry. Calling about disconnect. your extended warranty. I got to disconnect the Wi Fi, I guess. When I was younger. Oh, my God. Hey, Ari, this is Mark from Iowa. Love your show. Hi, Mark. Uh, my question is when I was younger, I did a lot of like buying cars like a young teen. And we always. <laughs> this might not sound good, but. When you go buy a car with wheel and deal on it, and my friends when I get back would always ask, did you chew them down? And that's something we always said, and I picked up. But now, as I'm older, all this stuff come by, I didn't mean it to be, like, offensive. I guess I didn't even realize. <laughs> oh, shit, wait. This, I didn't mean to cut you off, Mark. Let's get back to it. Shit. I don't have a this problem with t- Jews. I love Jews. <laughs> I didn't know what a Jew was until I was like 25. <laughs> I didn't know what a Jew was until I was like 25. I know I'm rambling on, but my question is... I want that as a sound bite. And I'm not saying it anymore, obviously, but am I racist or am I ignorant? Clearly. Sorry, you're the best. You're the best, Mark. Obviously, uh, this is a good you're a question. racist. And I guess I'm the only one here qualified to answer this one because you guys aren't Jewish. I'm Jewish. You are? Yeah. No, you're not. Yes, I am. I never knew that. I did 23 and Me. I came from a sperm bag. Oh, you're not Jewish. Like a good Jew. Got it. I know because it's my dad. Got it. Okay. I, but thought, I'm... I thought you meant you like grew up Jewish. No. No, no. You're just I grew technically up... Jewish. Or... You should do birthright. I, I was about to and then 2020 happened. Let's do it anyway. Oh, did they cancel it? I you're think saying? I'm too old now. How old are you? Are you allowed to say? Too old. For <laughs> because they keep increasing the age of birthright. I know. I bet I bet they would probably take a 50-year-old if they're just like, I just figured out. I did it. You should definitely do it if you can. Yeah. And most people, I went there thinking, because I'm not very Jewish. I mean, my name's Ari and I look Jewish, but I don't believe in it. I wasn't raised with much of it. You don't believe in Jewish Yeah. Stuff. I've always considered myself, when I'm around Jewish people, to be on the lesser of the Jewish side. Like, le- yeah, less... Uh... What's the word? Just everything. Like, I don't care about... I Less eat bacon. Less culture. Yeah, I eat bacon. I never dated a Jewish girl in my life. Never? Why? Never. Uh, anti-Semitic? Yeah, I'm anti-Semitic. Okay. But, so Is it because you went, think we're ugly? We Jewish women? Oh, yeah, because you're Jewish. Uh, Us, the Jewish women? No, Jewish because women? Not, I think most Jewish women aren't my type physically, but the ones that are aren't my type... They're all Japs. They're all spoiled princesses. And they're like, the, yeah, they're, you don't like their personality. I don't like. Do they remind them of your mom? I don't like girls remind that you of your mom? that require a man to make a lot of money. To me, you're poor. Yeah, but even if I wasn't, I don't want a girl that wants me for my money. For your money, I don't want a girl that's like, well, I need a house. Take care of me. I don't want a materialistic woman. I need a Chanel bag. You know, you and don't want that. I don't want saying. that. And most. Jewish women, from my experience, are that. They have Chanel bags. Wow. And because you're poor, you resent them. Maybe. But my parents have money, and I've, al- I've always resented this. Maybe that's why. Maybe, Maybe it's because my parents have money. Maybe I don't know. I don't want to be like my I don't parents. know the psyche of why I don't. I think it's because I'm not materialistic. And it's such a And the a ones fake you thing. happen to have run into. It's just if so you fake. Ran into the I don't right like person. it. Like, even if I was filthy rich, I wouldn't want a girl that's like, oh, I love that you're filthy rich. No, I, I also, I've rich. always thought that too. Is that like, although I didn't grow up with any money, and I always thought maybe it's because I grew up so poor, but 
I feel like even if I had a lot of money, I'm not going to be someone who has like these big fancy, I'm not going to have like a G wagon with yeah. Louis Vuitton seats and be like. <laughs> yeah, I wouldn't flaunt it and I definitely wouldn't w- require it in my significant other. No. So that's why I don't like Jewish girls. But <laughs> I forget where I was going with this. But oh, yeah. So birthright. Mark. Oh. Birthright. I thought I was going to be the least Jewish person on birth, my birthright trip. But there were even less there Jewish were, people. Most people were like you. They're like, I think technically I'm Jewish, there but I've never done. There was a black man named yeah, Bill. There were people like that. They were like, my dad, my uncle's Jewish, or I took 23 me and I'm pretty much Jewish. I also got adopted by Ari Shafir, so I feel like that counts for, <laughs> they probably don't want me actually. That counts for, that. for a lot, even though he renounces God and everything. And, and everything hates, he does. Hates, he's, he hates Jews. Uh, he doesn't hate Jews. Not really, but more. you know what I mean. He hates the culture and the... He probably has resentments he grew, from his Yeah, he has, he's resentful to the Jewish. I think it's easy for anyone to get like resentful toward the conservative aspects of the religion they were brought up in. Because I hate it's all so, religion. Because you really so, so much of it is like this man made like bullshit. What? Yeah, like, it's all bullshit. It's so stupid. All religion is organized religion. Is yeah, it's dumb. Ridiculous. It's so stupid. But I like the values it instills. Yeah. If I have a kid, I'm going to... You're just going to raise them under a fake religion? Yeah, I do not understand this. I also think about it all the time because I'm like, what would I do? I don't know. But people will like, oh, my kids go to Catholic school and we go to church every Sunday. And it's like, oh, you're Catholic? I don't believe in this shit. But I want my kids to. And you're like, you're just feeding them a lie you don't believe in? It's an easy way to get your kids... It's a lazy way to get your kids to be good instead of evil. Because they think they'll go to hell? Yeah. I love that those it's be good instead parenting. of evil. Yeah. <laughs> that like if you don't go to your kid will be satanic. Yeah, because if you grow up teaching your kid, hey, there's nothing to believe in ever and just live your life. There's no gonna... real consequences for your behavior. It's <laughs> yeah. all bullshit. Yeah. That's, yeah, he's gonna like shit. It's gonna on be fire. hard. Yeah, it might be hard. I don't know. I don't know. I've never been a parent, but I know I'd be better at it than my parents were. Yeah, I think but I think that's like supposed to happen. Aren't we sp- yeah. like aren't your kids supposed to be better if you do it right? Yeah. Hopefully, in a perfect world. Oh, but back to that caller. Mark? Back Mark. to Mark. So he's saying, he makes the joke, Jew, the stereotype that Jews are cheap. He grew up making. Is that bad? Is what he's saying. What do you guys think? Because he called, He said getting Jewed. I don't think getting so. Getting Jewed down like bargaining. He oh, said yeah. He used it as a term for bargaining. I think it's ignorant because I think it was probably Defin- yeah, he's a definitely, lingo. Based on the call, he's clearly not anti-Semitic. Yeah, because he called you. <laughs> yeah, and he listens to this show. So yeah. he's not anti-Semitic. Unless he's listening. He's turning to be like, With listen hate. to this stupid Jew. <laughs> yeah. Oh, here he goes again. But like, yeah, no, it was probably just a thing everyone said. So he said it and no one thought about mm-hmm. it. There's also the term gypped. I got gypped. Is that short for it's, Jew? It's no, it's based on gypsies, and I didn't oh, know that. I didn't and know I that said either. that for years as a kid. I didn't and like, know that was anti-gypsy. Yeah, cool. anti-gypsy. That's cool. <laughs> That's a cool one to know. I didn't know that. No. I said gyp too. Yeah, I've always said gypped. And I, th- I probably said I got Jude because I probably heard it on some like dumb comedy movie or like Comedy Central. But I didn't think like, you know, because the Jews will try to take your money because they run the banks. Like it wasn't some sort of crazy. Right. I think it's ignorant. What do you think? Uh, I mean, growing up, I definitely heard it a lot. I wouldn't say it as an adult, but, but you don't, I don't say it I don't as an adult. I still, he- by the way, I still hear that term all the time. People definitely still use that around me, and then sometimes they'll forget that I'm in the room and they'll say, it, and then they'll look at me weird stuff like, like that. Ooh. Like it's like when you sit, yeah, it's like saying the Edwin word around a black person, going "oops," but not not the same because obviously, just people do I was get never weird. a slave in America, but and neither was my dad or his dad or his dad, wow. but. You know, so I've much never, your I've never been offended at Jew jokes. Well, there's some people who think you can't say the word Jew. And that, what do you that, say? That that's racist. <laughs> what would you say instead? I don't know, but I've heard people go like you. I've said I haven't I, heard that one. I think I've said, oh, he or she is a Jew, and someone was like, you can't say that. That's racist. And I was like, okay, what connotation are you putting on the word Jew? That me calling someone a Jew? No, you're racist. If me going like Jew, it's not like I was like they're a Louis Jew. Louis had a joke that like Jew is the only word that you could say. Both positive and negative, based on how you say it. It was pretty funny. Yeah, that makes sense. But it's, I don't think that, I don't know. To me, it's all, like I said, it's all about how you say it. If you are an anti Semite and you're saying Jude yeah, down, probably, then it's yeah. bad. If you're saying it lightheartedly. And you were young and in Iowa and kids just I don't say think, stuff. I, even now, I think people could, could make that joke. And it comes was, from a real stereotype because Jews used to work in money, like specifically. Jews, yeah. there, there's a. I don't know the exact history, but there was a stretch of history where Jews were some basically only allowed to be accountants and merchants and stuff. So, so every Jew, literally every Jew worked. in society, worked within money. So wow. that's how that stereotype came about, and that's why Jews are 
good at good with money and cheap and all this thing it's it's from it stems from that yeah of course so, so there is history it's not based on nothing and it's a joke so i say say it chew them down i say you can only say it if it's in a song <laughs> yeah I, I do say it alone in my car all the time uh, when I'm rapping. Yeah, with the windows rolled up. Or if I see someone with like a rabbi I beard. I got Jude. I got Jude. We got one more call. You guys remember that one? Hey, Jude. Yes. Oh. Hey, Jude. What about that song? Classic. Is that racist? Yeah. <laughs> that song's racist. Hey, Jude. Don't do me down with the words. My name's Kelsey. You can stream my music at earthandsmarket.com oh, slash Kelsey. Kelsey? Oh, I Sounds love like... your pod. He's high. Also... Want to know the best way for me to get shows of email venues? Oh, he's a comic. Oh, he's a comic. <laughs> Sounds like it. Or he's oh, a, musician. a musician. He said. He said he's a musician, he's, but also, how the fuck would you know how to get music he, shows? Let's just hear I this say again. that with love. He sound, and I say this with love because he likes my podcast. He sounds mentally handicapped. Let's listen to this again. Hi <laughs> Ari, my name's Kelsey. Oh, now that you're playing the guys. Records.com/slash/Kelsey. I love your pod. Thank you. Also, want to know or he, or maybe he just he's about to cry. He could be about to cry. He could just be yeah in a bad place mentally or really high. What kind of phone is he using? Too? It's very staticky. I've emailed venues. A payphone. <laughs> <laughs> I've emailed venues and he just hangs. That up. was definitely a unique, more one of the more unique calls I've ever received. And I, I'll leave it in there, even though he promoted his his music, which I'm not going to listen to him. To be honest. I. Uh, I, if he's asking about music, I wouldn't know. How, would you know how to do that? No, but I could guess based on comedy. Go to open mics. Go to music open mics and music meet other musicians. Music open mics. And, you know, most I think in music, you can literally, and same with comedy, you could rent the venues. So yeah. there's not often that someone's going to book you based off of a cold email. And I would say the same for comedians. The, the gigs that are going to book you off of emailing them a tape aren't going to be, for the most part, good gigs. Those are going to be spots around town for no money yeah if, if those are booking you so what you want to do is get a venue in your local town maybe even a bar yeah a place that maybe it. has space for music that doesn't do it too yeah would be good call them up and say hey i'd like to run a show one night and put on your own show yeah and sell tickets and try and make money your own way get your friends to come out yeah get your family to come out and i would say as a musician that's probably what you want to do because you don't want to go set up on someone else's show to do one or two songs. Although if you up. have a friend who is a bigger musician who likes your stuff, ask if you can that open for them. That doesn't have any friends. Okay, I know, but <laughs> I would say get I would say get on the website meetup and look for friend groups. I'm your friend, dude, but I'm your only friend. And <laughs> you better you better remember that you never stop listening to this podcast cuz I'm your only <laughs> fucking friend. <laughs> you don't have any other friends besides me. Wow, that is dark. I would kill myself if you were my only friend. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but he's uh, not your only friend, so please don't kill yourself. Oh, boy. I'm sure you have one friend who helps with your beats. Your beats? Our, we didn't even kind know of, what kind of music you played. Damn it. Oh, that sounded like a beat. <laughs> Let the beat drop. Do that you was still my chair. run marathons? Oh, my God. Not since 2013. It's been that long? Yeah. I I've still, been when about, I think of you, I'm like, she runs marathons. When someone's like, what do you think about JMS? I'm like, not only is she funny, she's a marathon runner. I'm glad that you think that because that's why I did it. I did it so <laughs> I could go, I ran a marathon. I have rheumatoid arthritis, so my joints, I'm fucked. So I'm you dying. should never have ran a marathon. I should never have ran a marathon. <laughs> you just wanted to do it. Um, I'm, very, I'm very proud <laughs> I did. is arthritis even a real thing? Be no, honest. No, it's made up by the government. Is yeah. it? No, it is. It's, it's real? It's, uh, you know about... MS. Isn't that just be like, ow, my joints hurt? Isn't that what arthritis is? Osteoarthritis is, is yeah, the yeah. degeneration of joints as you get older. And so it's your bones like falling apart. What I have is called rheumatoid arthritis. And okay. so have you heard of the disease MS? Yeah, that's where you shake. Uh, no, that's Parkinson's. MS is... By some shaking. You start to lose your, uh, your own immune system instead mm. of attacking outside illnesses, attacks your nerve endings in MS. So, so your crazy. nerves start getting fucked up. You see a lot of people end up in like wheelchairs. You uh, have that? Rheumatoid arthritis, it's the exact same thing, but it's happening to your joints instead of your nerve endings. So my immune system is tacking your joints. Stupid. It's I'm I'm suicidal on a molecular level. My body is killing me. So can't Elon Musk fix this? I don't think so. Unless I mean he could put me in a rocket and just send me to space and kill me. That'd be great. (laughs) Fucking Elon Musk. 
He's so Did you smart. see that he tweeted at Bernie Sanders? He like tried to own Bernie Sanders on something, and it's like, dude, just go fucking build space stuff. Why oh, are you owning I'm people sorry. on Twitter? I thought I was in a safe place to promote and praise Elon. You're no, an Elon I, hater. I love his work. I think yeah. he has a small dick for sure. <laughs> Who's attacking? Pol- we could ask. Uh, what's it, his girl's name? Uh, Grimes. They yeah, got a divorce. To, probably because she's not, or they are getting one. Elon and Grimes are splitting up. Imagine Damn someone it. has so much money. She is cute. And so much clout. How bad is his dick that she's like, I can't do this anymore? Dick or ego? Probably both. Yeah. Which is wild. You can't have a big ego and a small dick. I'm sorry. <laughs> no one with a good dick is fighting politicians on the internet. Period. Might be right. That's a good theory. I don't think like. I've never fought a politician. I have a great dick. Pete Davidson doesn't even have social media. Really? I mean, he erases Instagram. He had it like years ago. Oh, wow. And everyone says he has and a he's, hog. And he's dating Kim Kardashian now. How is supposedly. that even? Is she even fully divorced? I thought they annulled their divorce. She's got a big old butt. Uh huh. <laughs> Who's got a bigger butt than her? Wait, she's the one who got like the first butt job, or is her butt real? <laughs> fake. That thing's fake. It's fake, right? It's so. She fake. was like one of the early butt jobs. She yeah, she like kind of put butt jobs on the map. I think. Yeah. In a big way. I wonder if she's gotten redone because I know butt fake butts have come a long way. Probably. She yeah. is the best plastic surgeon. I would say, like, I think people go to plastic surgeons and ask for her face. Would you ever get plastic surgery? Have you ever gotten plastic I've surgery never as gotten, a woman you know in what? her 30s? I had 20s. <laughs> 15. I'm 15. I had a hard life. Uh, I had Invisalign, which no, in that's theory not a is cosmetic, though. Okay. So for me to no. judge plastic surgery, That's just surgeries, adult braces. I've thought about it recently. I always thought I never will. And then every fucking woman around me won't shut the fuck up about Botox and filler. And I'm like, oh, oh, no one's aging gracefully. You guys have all just been injecting shit into your face. Well, here's a shitty thing about Botox and filler. Number one, you have to redo it every three or four months. It's I don't expensive wanna, I don't want fuck. that kind of maintenance. No. But number two, if I had a Botox party at my apartment kind of for fun to make light of it, would you come and we could get some units together? I would, I would do it just to see you get Botox. <laughs> I, want, I, want to do I want you to get like a ton of filler. No, have, like, I would just get the smallest amount. Yeah, I would do like a little. I've had, yeah. a, okay, they're, so they're called 11s. I've had 11s since I was like five because I am constantly just critically assessing everything around 11s me. are Botox? You see this? No, do you see the like two, the yeah. lines? Oh, that's an 11. Uh, yeah. But that's the thing that a lot of people, when they hit like 30s, start getting. Or like, oh, like in your that. 30s, you got to get baby Botox. I think I want to just age and like get old and say, fuck it. But it's easy to think that. And then you look in the mirror and you're like, who is this witch staring and back at me? And you have a boyfriend, right? I have a boyfriend who says... Try that when you're single. Try thinking that way. Yeah, exactly. That's the thing is he's like, you don't need Botox. I'm like, yeah, until you leave me for someone younger mm-hmm. and then I'm an old witch who Might no well one wait. loves. Yeah, get it when you're an old witch who no one loves. <sighs> and then, But then it's such a... I mean, you see people with those fucking gross plastic surgery faces. It's but a slippery slope. Uh, here's how I think... Here's my theory of how women get botched faces. Obviously, there's... Bad surgeons. Who, of course. They, you know, some, if you cheap out and go to Tijuana for your facelift. You're going to look not, like you got yeah, beat up. Might look, but I think the more common way is they get the fillers. The, they start small. They do a little bit of Botox. They're, and they're so like, well, used I look to good. it. They're so used to it that they keep getting more and more. And they don't notice it's botched because they stare at themselves every day. Oh. So we're all like, whoa. But they just think they look good because they keep getting it slowly and slowly and slowly till it looks crazy. Oh, you don't think that they get like what a little think? and they're like, oh, I feel like I look refreshed. Could I look even better? Because it's like, yeah. And dude, then the they lips? get a little more and they're like, oh, that looks pretty good. It grows on them. And, and then they, they get, get a little like, more, have, a little more. And before you know it, they're all, they're this. So like, they're I, all mushy up and crazy. Dude, and the crazy lip jobs. And is, they don't even notice. And everyone around them is like, what the fuck is wrong with them? You don't look younger. You just look like someone who got your face fucked up by plastic surgery. Yeah, they look like a human duck. Yeah, there's like, I Sorry. don't think so. No? No, I don't, but it's That's hard just to the tell. theory. I think, I, no, I agree with you. I just mean yeah. I wouldn't get it. Yeah. I think I would pay for like, if I had the money, they have some higher end like facials that like kind of like, laser your face a little but it's non-invasive that are supposed to stimulate oh like, yeah collagen. i want that i want to get the laser that removes like sun damage yeah yeah, yeah. I want clear to and brilliant have you heard of that no it's like one of, it's one of those more expensive facials that's supposed to help with that oh that yeah, stuff i, get I that. think i would clear do. and brilliant let's go do it i'll do it with you okay i'll bond. do it we could bond as friends yeah what about maybe either of you know know about this can you get <laughs> is there a good surgery yet to make yourself taller that i would do uh, i'm five nine i'm tired of being average 
Oh, you think you're average? I should be six foot one. I think what you should do is. I was born six foot one up here, and I ne- my body never. You identify a, as a six foot one. I identify as six foot one. On I think Facebook, just start wearing a lot of. You're gay and six foot one. <laughs> yeah. Just wear a lot of vertical striped pants. I think <laughs> will help you. And then also, do you ever see those uh, back stretching things where you lean? There's. I that sounds those, scary. That, for yeah. some reason, that's scarier to me than getting surgery to get. Have taller. you ever seen those though, where you like hook your feet yeah. and you lean backwards, and it's supposed to like decompress your spine, and it's good for your back. It's good for you. Oh Maybe yeah, it's supposed, it. well, it's supposed to be for people I think who have like. It's probably not good for you, and it was some like scam. But in my mind, that would slowly make you taller. Although I don't know why gravity would work that way. That would probably give you an inch. I'm trying to get like four inches. Why don't you just start wearing platforms? They're in. Are they in for men? No, but they're yeah. in. Are you a man? Who knows, you know? <laughs> I want to get some actual surgery to How get tall bone grafts. I want to be like 6'1". I bet there is a surgery. There's got to there be is, at but this I, point. But at this point, it should be kind of a root, like getting a boob job. It should where, be a boob job where yeah. everyone... 10 grand, you go in, you do it. It's not a big thing, but I wonder, it's probably not like that because I don't know anyone who's done that. You're really... Does your, do you think your height really inhibits you? Do you think people, is it because people probably automatically swipe away from you on dating apps? I think it does. Listen, I do I've a, never been like that. I just know that there's women you're who are, if you're not six foot right. two, sw- and it's like, I mean, are men allowed to be like, if you weigh over 125 pounds, swipe away, fatty? We do do that. Oh. Yeah, oh my for God, sure. No, that's why people aren't I would matching never, with you. I would never date a girl who weighs <laughs> over 125. Is that in your profile? Over 125? They look like me. Oh my God. Yeah. No, they wouldn't. Yeah. What well, they have giant. Bones? What if it was all in their tits? That'd be too much tits. You, you, can, you, can, you can, can have, have big, t- yeah, you could have tits that are too big and asses that are too big. Really? I'm just a white guy. I'm just a white guy. Yeah. You mean you have a small penis? Okay. <laughs> no, I'm I'm good. I have boyfriend dick. I'm I, have good. Bo- I have boyfriend dick. <laughs> yeah. Dick, you want to keep around for a while? Yeah, yeah. It's like good a, for you. above average, but not so big that you're like, oh, this is too big. So is it? So it's like not? Is it? The thickness of his microphone, more or less. <laughs> it's the same That's thickness, same color. That's pretty average for me. <laughs> no, we're, oh yeah. Wait, what were we talking about? Surgery? Getting taller. Getting tall. Oh yeah, how it, it affects you. Here's the thing. I have certain look requirements with women, so So you feel I like yours are unrealistic? I like really hot girls. Girls that are out of my league. Like me. Like you. Yeah. So it, in order to get what I want... More often, if I was 6'1". Oh, so you, like, feel like... If I was 6'1", I'd be getting laid more. If you were or s- I'd have a girlfriend. Because more women who are up to the caliber of what you're attracted to would also want to fuck you. But you don't... Yes. You- right now, there's, a, a like you said, a lot of women who instantly are like, 5'9", nope, next. But if you were rich, you wouldn't have to be tall. Because some of those but women... But then you get the word... That, see... I Look, rather I'm have a girl. I'm not like that with either. Of the, I mean, you've seen some of the people I dated. They're you are not, not all very. But there's some I, of them are very smart. I would rather date a girl that judges me for my looks and my body than date a girl who judges <laughs> me for my wallet. That's it's because just so I funny, judge the women for their looks and their body. And being like, she's like you fat short. Yeah, piece of I would shit. like that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> if a girl and you're like, made why are, me you, exercise, why are you dating that woman? <laughs> if a girl was like, hey, I expect you to go to the gym. I would, I would like that. She cares about my health and my looks and my appearance. And I do that. And I would want a girl who cares about her health. Would and you her say looks. that to a girl? I expect you to go to the gym. <laughs> I wouldn't say it to her, but I would invite her hiking a lot. Oh yeah, no, my uh, I put on some pounds, and my boyfriend's like, hey, the Peloton. I'm like, shut up, fat. <laughs> you shut the I fuck would, up. No, if you buy a girl Peloton, that's not good. He that's bought it rude. for himself. He's just like. That's what I do. It, I'd buy it for myself. Yeah, if you want to use it, you're more than welcome he to. He bought me shoes. So I was like, yeah. I see what's going on here. It's your fault. It's his fault because he got into cooking in the quarantine. And now I look like Danny DeVito. I'm with him. That's <laughs> So that's how I would approach it. If my girl was gaining weight, I would buy her Peloton shoes. But you know what? There is a part. It's like there is the sensitive American condition to be like nothing is scarier or worse than the idea of being fat and the fat positivity community community can debate that with me but like the fact is that's like a very triggering word for some like there nothing could be worse to so many women than like (gasps) fat but beyond that like your health and it's like yeah it's it's this hard area to address because like on one hand like yeah you also you want your girlfriend everyone wants their partner to be hot you're like I have to fuck you. I've now I have chosen to stop fucking other people. Could you please? That's that's what I'm saying. If you want me hot. to not fuck anyone else, but also keep it together. 
if you love someone, you also do care about their health. Mm -hmm. So you're like, I don't want to upset you by you thinking I'm calling you fat, even though I wish you looked hotter. But also, aren't you worried about heart disease? Like <laughs> Everyone has their type, and my type is hot girl. It's too hot and for I, you. And I've lost a lot is, of listeners from saying this. But I've what is a lot hot of, girl to you? What it is to most people. I mean, I grew up in the 90s, so it's skinny. With big tits or no? I don't need to be big. So just yeah. like heroin chic skinny, the super skinny. Not anorexic skinny, but, but almost. But almost, yeah. Like flat, fit. flat stomach. Yeah, flat stomachs. Is it like fit or just like thin? Either one. <laughs> but not like buff. No, uh, I'd rather I'd rather buff than than fat than chunk. But buff, if there was a buff, and then there was like just a really skinny, like modely. Yeah, thin. I like that, and it's and it's. But if the buff girl had body. a better face. And the model girl had like a model body, but she was like, had a, had like I'd a, go for the buff. A, a, just a weird face. Buff is kind of, I'm not anti-buff. I mean, it can't be too buff. Oh. She so has to still menstruate. <laughs> yeah. It can't be I've stopped menstruating because I worked out too much. You're like, no, I need to know yeah. my seed will be spread into yeah, your buff yeah, yeah, yeah. pussy. If a girl, if you've, if you're not a you professional athlete. You have a dad athlete, bod and yeah, you. And I have these standards, I know. But if I was taller, wouldn't have the dad bod too. It'd spread out. Oh, same. Yeah. I think my stomach would be way flatter if yeah, I was like three go. inches taller. There you go. I have a lot of body crammed into, and I have a small yeah. torso, so it feels like I have the torso of someone who's three or four inches taller crammed mm -hmm. into my torso. See, I have the same problem. I eat like a six foot one man. Me too. Yeah. <laughs> it's disgusting. I've got to stop. I am turning into a cow. But yeah, there's a lot of women who used to listen to this podcast but stopped when I, they found out that I like skinny girls. And to them, I just want to say... We could still be great friends, and I could so still. So, do you need every you podcast find. host could, to want to fuck you? I could still find someone for you. I'm happy to be a matchmaker. He knows a lot of slobs. That I know a lot of gross guys that like body. that. And I say that as someone who's fucked most of those slobs. <laughs> she keeps hating on these guys. I I like all your exes that I know, all four of them. Me too. Yeah. I hate. I really strongly. I am okay with, but strongly dislike one of my exes, and then everyone else. Is very cool. I've dated a lot of really nice, good guys. Funny guys. I'm probably yeah. the Funny nightmare guys. to them. They're like this one bitch I dated. But you know. But at the same that. time, they all. I think. Correct me if I'm wrong. All four guys I know that you dated, you guys loved each other. At one point, you were saying I love you to each other. Yeah, absolutely. Wow. You've never loved anyone. That's not true. <laughs> I've gotten my heart broken. I was guessing. I don't know. Yeah. By a hot chick. I'm a love addict. Are you? Yeah, I fall in love all the time. Wow. I love someone right now. Who? She doesn't even know it. A girl I held hands with. Already? Oh, that's not me. Okay. Yeah. No. I was like, you need to relax. No. no this keeps no. happening to me. No, you have a boyfriend. <laughs> oh, like that's ever stopped. I'm just kidding. We've known each other. We're friends at this point. We're friend zoned. You and the girl? No, me and you. Oh, yeah. No. Yeah, yeah. That's we're friends. disgusting. Yeah. And I don't, been, that's no reflection of we've you. We've been going out. There's just we've like, been, it's, it's, we've been, we've known each other for a decade. You come to a, a point decade. that it's gone, to, it's too long. Yeah. For there to be any, you're like, I've hung, hung if you around had you a enough to be crush like, you're disgusting. <laughs> that, <laughs> and vice versa. That, yeah, vice versa. If you had a secret crush on me, I would have known about it by now. Yeah, because we it would know, have came have, out in a manic yeah. episode <laughs> in, in a text at 3 a.m. when I was single. I'd be like, hey, Ari, what are you doing? You want to go on a walk? Do you ask guys out or do you only let them ask you out? I'm of, trying to think. Um, no, I, I, it's probably like even split. I said there's one guy I dated who, if I had not made a move, we never would have dated because he was such a pussy. And oh, I, I say that I with love. Who. He was so polite. That, oh, like, I know who. That I was like, Isn't but we we hung out so many times and I was like, okay, he's not just hanging out with me to be friends. Like, it got in my head. Like, I was like, does this guy even fucking like me? And one oh. day I was like, yo, what's up? I'm not going to say his name. Is he married now? Yes, recently. Oh, yeah, I know. Who. Very yeah, recently. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I know. Who. And he hates me so much because yeah. I broke up with him in a manic episode. Yeah. Because I did not have my mental health under control. Yeah. And I, oh, I know will never stop about. regretting that. Yeah, I could definitely see him never. Not regretting that. breaking up with him. Like, I'm, he has somebody's happy and, like, it would, we would, but I regret the way. I bet he doesn't myself. hate you now yeah. at this point. I bet uh, he's Feng moved Chow on. told me he said I'm a bitch. So, jeez. He's like, oh, he said you're a bitch. And I was like, what? And he's like, I'm not supposed to tell you that. <laughs> Please don't tell him I told you that. And I was like, uh, I mean, like, it's fair that he thinks I'm a bitch, but like, I wish I could be like, hey, sorry, I was a bitch. I bet you he he 
He's probably moved on. He's yeah, married. Yeah, I think he's fine. I think a million dollars and a wedding, I don't know what you were talking about. Yeah. Or who per- anyone's yep, talking about. Person. I think you're like, yeah. I'm over it. I've moved on. How many people listening to this know who we're talking about? Zero, even from all those clues. Do you know how many people texted me when he won a million dollars? This guy won a million dollars. And then they were like, do you regret it? That type of text? Yeah. And I was like, no. Uh, yeah. Because you're not a superficial Jap. Yeah. I was yeah. I was also, I was like, what do you think I am? Don't you think if that was my motive, I would have dated one rich guy, one it's not like, it's, I'm not a 10. I know that. We know that. You guys can see me if you're watching. I could date a rich guy. Maybe sure. not in LA. <laughs> Maybe an old an old rich guy? A very old, who's kind of got yeah. cataracts. He can't really tell where I am or what I look yeah, like. Yeah, a blind yeah. old rich guy would probably be <laughs> Who's white like confined or to a chair of some sort, wheel yeah. or couch, because he's so Maybe obese Indian? he can't get up. Asian, an Asian rich oh, yeah, guy. Probably, I think I could span a few different races of rich, <laughs> uh, blind. Yeah, physically incapable, yeah. maybe needing a nurse type of situation. Mm-hmm. Have near, you ever dated a rich guy? Near death. Now I want to know if you could cap, get a rich guy. Oh, the thing is, is like rich is, you mean like a rich, rich guy? I think in today's day and age in LA, to be rich, you'd got to be three million plus. Oh, then. Four, maybe even four, because no. to have a normal house in LA, own it. A normal house is two and a half million dollars now. I have absolutely hooked- not for a mansion, for just a house. Yeah, 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 a regular bumfuck house. Yeah, I have absolutely hooked up with guys who I am confident it could have turned into dating if I wanted it to, who are rich, a handful. But no, I've never been in a serious relationship with a. I've been in a relationship. I'm in a relationship with now with someone who's financially stable and secure. That's great. Which is attractive. It's nice. It's not something I go. Mm-hmm. I didn't. I didn't yeah, know that when we started dating. I was like, Ooh, you, like you know, but I'm like, oh, thank God. One less thing, because I would be stressed. I've had partners who aren't financially s- stable, and I, like, worry about them, and then now nah, that's, like, an extra right. fucking and then, thing. Right, and then you go out to dinner, and you're like, do I pay for both of us? Do I chip in? What do I do here? Dude, fucking people, I, can, I don't, like, we can't go out because I don't make money. And it's like, I want to fucking go out. Yeah. I have money. Let's just go do something, you fucking loser. <laughs> that's how I am nowadays. If I'm dating a poor girl, I'll just pay for it. Yeah. I mean... <laughs> Were you not paying for it before? I was when like we go sometimes. the first few dates, you know. But if if a girl becomes my girlfriend, you should split. I feel like you get to the point what where you, you got to split. Okay, let me ask yeah. you this. I agree. Yeah. Do you keep tabs? Are you like I paid last time? You paid this? The, like oh, no. really strict tabs on? No, stuff? I don't do that. But if I find myself that I'm paying for everything all the time, it's it's not that I'm keeping tabs. You just can't help but notice, and then you kind of subconsciously hold a little bit of a grudge about it. Yeah. Man, I'm just realizing my boyfriend like always gets the groceries. I would give him money. He just always buys them and now But maybe there's other things you get. Yeah, I pay for like Like I wouldn't mind always getting groceries, yeah, if if they do other things to make up for. Like I had a girl I've told this story. I buy all the dog food. Yeah, and I've see? never asked him for money. And I hope you, he's and watching this. Because do you think we bu- we have two dogs and I buy all the dog food? He, yeah, his dog, see? my dog. So it, it it evens out. I never ask him for the four dollars for the whatever the water. And bill he might is. not care as much about things like this that I do. I'm remember I'm a cheap Jew. He's also a cheap Jew. Oh, okay. No, there's definitely been times where he's like, hey, I'm actually not cheap. I don't know why I he's said not that cheap about either. He's, yeah. but he'll go, hey, do you mind getting this one? And I go like, he's probably paid the last few times. I, I just don't think about it. Oh, he says that? Do you mind getting this one? Yeah. Ooh, Every wow, once in a that's while. Brave. It's fine, though, because, like, I don't mind, and I think yeah. we should split it, and even though sometimes I'll be like, hee-hee, when he, like, gets things, I'll be like, thanks. Or if a girl says to me as I'm getting it, I even like, if, as long as they acknowledge it, like, oh, you've gotten the last three, if you know what I mean? And it's great that you're getting the fourth. Or I'll say, I'll say, <laughs> get it next time. I'll say that as I'm paying for it. I'm like... And then that girl goes, goes there's going to be a next time. Yeah, keep him wanting more. Or they're like, oh, he thinks there's going to be a next time. Hopefully not. <sighs> Hopefully they want more. Is there anything in your life that you're having issues with that I could help you with as your unlicensed therapist? Uh, yes. Is there? I don't know. It's been an exa- exactly a year since my dad died. I don't want to talk I'm about sorry grief. sorry to hear that. Workaholism. You work a lot? I'm a workaholic. You're a hard worker. Yeah, yeah, you're a hard worker. I would say uh, Very hard worker. most of my career's success is less to do with being extremely talented, though I find myself to be extremely talented. Uh, I no. think you're very funny. I think, I think I'm very funny. I think you're a beast I, on I stage. I think, thank you. Underrated. Really? Yeah. Thank you. Yeah, you're welcome. I, I have a problem. I'm like a compulsive worker where I'll just like keep working on things nonstop. I, I, I don't mm-hmm. do like... I don't make enough time for self-care. Part of the reason I'm having trouble, like, 
keeping weight I lose off because I've been like trying to lose the weight I gained. Because you work all the time. Is because I won't make time for working out. Working out. It's like that's if, an excuse. If I start working, this it's is my you problem. Don't work out. Well, no, this is what I've realized, and and this past two weeks I've been better at it. I have to do the self care things before I start working. Once mm-hmm. I like plug in and lock into my computer and working on shit. It's like I have ADHD and I'm like, I don't want to leave if I'm working on something because I'm in the zone and I'm not going to come back to it. It'll never get done because I have 8,000 things that have never been like that have never been finished. I think the easiest solution for that is getting really organized and scheduling your work. So that way you don't feel lazy for not working because you go, no, look, I worked during my work hours today. Yeah. That's the solution. It's not working all the time or always feeling guilty like, man, I'm not doing enough because you as your own boss. It's very easy to get in that headspace, yes. especially when you compare yourself to your peers and blah, 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 and blah, blah. There's so many different wormholes you can go down to feel bad about yourself as a comedian or as so that you're many. not doing enough. But if you know that, oh, today I woke up at my, when my alarm went off and I did the things I needed to do and I worked from this hour to this hour like I planned to do, yeah. then you don't feel guilty. You go, hey, there's, I'll do it again tomorrow during work hours. Tomorrow. Yeah, well, that's yeah. what I've started like... I tried for years to be like, I'm going to clock out. You yeah, know, you got to clock out. At, but I don't clock out. So then I decided I'm going to, This I've just started instilling this like the last week. No, I'm not going to clock in until this time. So in case I keep going until I have spots, I've had this chunk of time where there's no excuse to not there you go. stretch and mm-hmm. do a workout and journal. Yeah, and, and just because you have work in. hours doesn't mean you have to not work during those not work hours. But it means you can. You can allow yourself. Yeah. If you've completed your work hours, you can allow yourself, okay, I, I can, stop I can go fucking... work out because I've done my work hours. So if I want to work out, I can work out. It's And you're absolutely right. It's an excuse because I fucking... Yeah. Working what's out wi- sucks. Dude, what's wild is that at the end of working out, you're like, oh, fuck yeah. Every time you you never regret it. You're never once never. like, oh, I shouldn't have worked out today. But why is it so hard to like, hey. Because it sucks. It's going to feel so good when you're done. It's painful. Working out is painful. It's... it's it's shitty. And then I, I always find excuses besides like, oh, I have too much work to do. So I'm not, working. not just that excuse, but I'll find excuses like, oh, I, I had a salad today, so I'm not going to work out. Oh, I walked a lot today. I Yeah, I walked to work. So. I'll do the opposite where like I worked out so I can eat this fucking cake. I'll do that too. Yeah. But yeah, so I just, my mind comes up with any excuse it can to eat unhealthy or to not work out. Do you to, have organized work hours? No. You mm. fucking bitch. Yeah. Let me ask you this. Do you block out specific time? Like, do you work on one thing at a time? Do you block no. out, like, I'm no. working on podcast I stuff I get right nothing now. done. I'm a lazy little bitch. You have this great uh, podcast. Thank you. No, but, I mean, no, I get more done than most people, but. Yeah, it feels like you crush issues. it. Yeah. No, no, I don't crush it. But I do, all right? Yeah. I still get things done. The perception. If I'm really my... passionate about something and I'm, I really believe in the idea and I love it, I'm going to do it. There might be certain things that I have the idea for that I don't get done because... You lose yeah. steam. I lo- Yeah, I lose steam. That's the other thing is I'm afraid I'll lose steam. Sometimes I barrel into something. So you don't lose steam. So I don't lose steam. But, but that I, causes you to lose steam even more because then you burn yourself out. You burn out. out. Well, I've also had to realize that like, yeah, you don't have to start every idea. You, everything doesn't have to be like, I've got to do this right now because I think, you know, as comedians, we're kind of idea machines, you know? Mm-hmm. But I'll think I should start every podcast idea. It's like you can't. S- fucking quit trying to start podcasts. Do you want to start a yeah. podcast? <laughs> you have a podcast, right? I do. I've, you had two at one point. I finally only have, have one. one. Uh, my other one is coming. It's on a uh, hiatus. Got it. You know, we were we were fully shutting down Two Filthy Nerds, and then now what we're doing is we're on a holiday hiatus, and we're doing one more season only Patreon. Cool. Just to be like, let's lean into the people who are supporting us. Yeah. And also, our network has been like a, a kind of a nightmare, but... I didn't even know you were on network. Yeah. Nobody knows anything. Yeah. And then my other one, which is good. What's your other one? Let's Ignorance is it. hashtag blessed. Ignorance is hashtag blessed with Jessica Michelle Singleton. Uh, yes. Co host or just you? It's just me. And I interview people. Just you, you interview people. Do it. Check it out. I'll be on there. He's lying. He's not going to do it. I mean, I'll do it. It's You're lying if you want me to do it. No, I want you to do okay, it. Okay, do, I'll do it. I'll do anything. You think I have standards? Things I don't do? No, look at that mustache. Actually, I do. My standard for a podcast, here's my standard. Do you have microphones? No. Yes. Some people... They throw an iPhone standard. in the yeah, middle. Yeah, they throw of... an iPhone. I'm like, I'm not doing this. And I don't, and I don't do... Unless it's a big podcast, I'm not doing a, a Zoom podcast either. Oh. I, I got to do it in person. Oh, that's... 
Yeah. I'm happy to do it in person. Yeah. I um, I just, it's so funny. A lot more people prefer Zoom. But that's because I'll tell you why they prefer it. It's because they're, they're lazy. Fucks. Here's why I don't do them. I don't listen to them. If I if I'm listening and I could tell it's a Zoom podcast, I shut it off. You're and one I don't of those care if it's s- Marin or if it's Rogan. I'm not oh. listening to that shit. Does the sound quality bothers you? It, it just bothers me. I'm like, you can't do a little effort. I don't know. I just yeah, it bothers me. I'm really getting my head like I should never have done all those hundred Zoom podcasts. I did. But no, I'm I'm a weirdo. Most people will. No, but there's a lot of people who mm-hmm. I think are very specific about their sounds. I'm getting ready to. It's gonna be. I'm gonna move on to the Comedy Store Network. I'm just mm-hmm. waiting for them to, and then. I'm very grateful to like, oh, someone else can handle this and they have a camera mm-hmm. set up. So I'm going to take it to the next level. But right now I'm just, I go very in and out. I don't mm-hmm. know if you have this with yours where like you just fall off doing it. or Yeah, like, I'm, I'm in that right now. I did it straight for two years. It was my record. I was like really good about it. And then last two months I've been. Yeah. Very and it's, I realized it's very self-sabotaging because every time I'm consistent, it's like very yeah, clear growth, up. like mm-hmm. boom, 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 boom. And then I just eat shit and it almost takes it back down to square one sometimes. Yeah. And it's like. Why did I, for what? For, uh, I don't know. It's hard. It's a lot of work. It's a part-time job. You're not getting, uh, you know, not a lot of people listen, so it's not enough to make it's me go, I the- got, oh, I got to appease all my listeners, so it's, yeah. it's hard. But then it's like, okay, you start seeing a little bit of money, and then I go, okay, well, I should lean into this to see how far I could take it. I've also started taking, like, started looking at the things I do and kind of trying to cut out things that are, I don't know, just trying to, pare down to the things that are the most important for me. And then for me, I mean, like, it is a business, so treating it as, like, business and making goals. Like, I want to have X X amount of downloads by this month, and how can I try to work on that? And Mm -hmm. Which I think, I don't think a lot of comedians do all that shit. I think they just go, like, I'm just going to throw shit out into the wind. So I'm like, okay, if I were, I think I would do well in a sales position if I didn't have dreams. Yeah, you're you're a good entrepreneur. Yeah, yeah I, I think it's just woman. like I grew up poor Every, and I need to you survive. Are, oh, you know, I, I didn't even want to ask you about it, but I always, it made me think you know, whenever you put out your albums, I always think, oh, she does a great job promoting her albums. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. I. Because uh, you have what, two, two albums now? Two, two albums. Two, they two both went to number albums. one. Yeah. Uh, and that's all. I feel like it takes, like, you check all the boxes. You're like, I'm going to put out an album, I'm going to do everything I can to get it on the charts. So, yeah, and I make yeah. a list of like how I can promote because sometimes because self promotion feels disgusting. Sure, but I try to look at it as like this is a product, even though it is me. You know, as a comedian, you are like selling yourself. Yeah. I look at it as like okay, I'm promoting a product, mm-hmm. and it's what I do. And people who follow me, as much as I get, you know, it's other comedians, but it's also people who obviously came to my yeah, social media you for do, some reason or seen you at a show or whatever. They're fans. So I have to remind myself like. People are interested in this, and I have to re- like pr- like promote it repeatedly because algorithms and like people aren't going to see it all the time. So I try to look at it as a separate entity from myself, so that I don't get like I fucking hate because you have to kind of be like, hey, don't forget. Yeah, you got to be a shameless self promoter. Which I think a little people, bit. if you're not if you're not a famous person, you got to be a shameless self promoter. Yeah, you can't just like tweet money. once and sell out everything. Right. And I think I get in my head about like, oh, are other comedians being like, she's annoying. And it's like, yeah, who fucking cares? Well, I, well, I think every comedian's annoying, so I've muted every single comedian. I've muted so many people. Yeah. And it's not because I get what they're doing. I do the same thing. But I'm because like, I don't, like need this, I don't need to see your poster. Yeah. So I'm muting you. I mute every, every Absolutely. Comedian. And then yeah. I have no idea that anyone's, I'm like, oh, you have your own TV show? Same, for same. three years? Yeah, I'll hear that. I'll Good hear a comedian you. doing something. <laughs> One of your exes, I found out I was writing on something because he told me, and I was like, I had no idea. I oh, the one that you don't know if he's gay or not? Yeah. Okay, that makes sense. Um, he's a he's a fucking crush. He crushes it. He's a very, yeah, he's very kind of good, very hard worker. Yeah. Um. All right. Thanks for doing the podcast. God thanks bless for you. Me. God bless and your all whole of family. Us. Some of them. And go check out her albums and her podcast that's coming out of hiatus. Thanks it's already to, out. Oh, already out. Thanks to Tommy Wakefield for producing it. Thanks, he's a Tommy. New Melrose podcast producer. He's it's been farting in the background the whole time. Have a long life here, and we'll see you guys next week. All right, I love you, Harry Jazzy. You're listening to you're listening to unlicensed, 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 unlicensed therapy with Ari Manis. Ari Manis.